Okay, today we will be looking at uh, the garbage mat in Composure. Uh, so this is used for things, for sort of putting objects in front of your green screen um, is one example and compositing as well. So we're going to be first of all looking at how we use that with Composure, specifically putting something in front of the green screen. Um, and then secondly, we're going to look at how to use that in things like cinematics in the sequencer to, uh, you know, do separate render passes to composite them to together later. Um, so for the composure part half, um, we are just picking up where we left off uh, the other day and so we've got this key going in composure, it's composite, composited together like so. And so what we're going to do is we're going to have uh, this cylinder here is going to jump, uh, going to pass in front of the penguin instead of behind him as we move the camera around. <clears throat> um, so to do that is quite easy actually, so um, what we're going to need to do is add some more composure layers, so uh, we're going to have to create, uh, not create, add a new layer element, we're going to need this CG mat, um, and we're going to call this foreground mat, just because I need to keep everything named, uh, and we're also going to add another layer element called this, another CG layer element, and this is going to be called foreground. Um, like that, and I'm going to rename our um, original CG layer to background. Um, oh, my caps is broken. Caps lock background. Do you know what? We'll keep it. Oh, I'd... yeah, whatever. So, the way this works is using the layers, um, which I think is part of Composure, although it might be part of Unreal and not part of Composure. Um, so if you don't have it by default, uh, which I don't have, you gotta hit Windows and there's layers here. And so essentially what we do is we add objects to this layer, um, to these layers, um, and this lets us isolate it. So I'm gonna uh, just click on the cylinder here. Uh, and then over in the layers, I'm going to right click and I'm going to click add selected actors to new layer. And I'm going to call this our foreground layer. Like so. Uh, so we can toggle it. Uh, if you want to add more objects to it, just click another object and right click it and click add selected actors to selected layers. And if you want to see what's inside it, then there's a see contents button down here and it'll show you everything and you can individually toggle it or you can remove it from the layer. Um, so we'll just go back. Uh, so what we need to go is first set up our mat. So if we go into Composure, we've got a completely white mat at the moment. Um, but if we go down to Capture Actors here uh, and hit the plus and go down, we have this option for Actors Set and here is our layer. And so if we do that, all of a sudden, as you can see, we have this uh, black and white uh, mat. Let me pin it so we can see it. Uh, like that. And so as I move the camera around, as you can see, it matches up with our cylinder. And so that's the basis of how we're going to be doing this. Like so. So the last thing we need to do is we need our um, foreground, for foreground, um, uh, let's unpin that. Um, which will be the render that goes on top of the green screen rather than behind it. Uh, so we, if, to do that, we're just going to click on the CG element here. Uh, and same again, in here is a capture actors. Uh, and we're going to drop down and under actor set, we're going to do foreground. And so as you can see, it only now includes our cylinder. Now in the background as well, if we click on it, um, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go capture actors. This time we're going to exclude um, our foreground layer. And so as you can see now, it's missing that cylinder in this render pass. So oh, the last thing I forgot to mention was in our foreground mat, you do have to change it from the mat type from holdout to garbage, which just inverts it. Like so. Alrighty, so to comp all this together in our comp material, we're going to have to create some new render targets. Uh, so materials. So I'm going to create a foreground render. Uh, I'm also going to include a materials, a foreground uh, mat, 
like so. And I'm going to rename these CG1 to background. Okay, now uh, just following from what we did last time, so in here we need to, uh, on both the mat and the foreground, we need to, uh, oh, not add a render pass, we need to go to outputs, we need to go to our render target asset, and I'm just going to drag out, what are we in the mat, so mat, like so, and this one. We also need, where is it, outputs, render target asset, and that one, like so. So now if we open up our comp, uh, all we're going to do is use another one of these over nodes. Um, so we just grab another one over, and I wish I could drag and drop it in. Um, so we're just going to go, yeah, A, I'll do that one into A, um, and that one out, the emissive, uh, so that wouldn't have changed anything, and we're going to grab our mat and our render and drag them in, like so. Uh, so for the new render, we're going to take the RGBA, because it wants that, plug that in, uh, and then we're going to take the RGB of our mat and plug it into the masks, and save it. And as you can see straight away for our key, uh, it worked. So if I grab it, as you can see, our cylinder now passes in front of our green screen. And so once this is set up, it's really easy. So say I want the, um, I almost said cylinder, that is a cone, the cone in the background to be a part of this as well. All I have to do is add it to the layer. So right click and add, uh, add selected actors to selected layer and because we've already set it all up with the foreground and the background that will automatically as you saw there pass in front of my penguin bond as well pretty cool so uh, this is some people asked about yeah you, you sort of want to make sure they make sense in Z space otherwise you get it coming in front of other things it shouldn't like that cube in the middle there um, so someone asked how to do a mask, a green screen, um, and so this is going to be the method of doing it uh, using this matte masks, this matte, sorry. Um, so I'm just waiting for my Vive kit so that I can, because I'm sick of plugging in all the Oculus stuff every time and unplugging it because I don't have a proper space at the moment. Um, so that will be the way it goes, so if you want to try and skip ahead and figure it out, that's all good but uh, that's how I'm going to be doing it um, so now I think I'm gonna make a second part for this one which is how do I export um, how do I use these garbage mat stuff inside um, the sequencer and so I'm gonna record a video right now for that but I think I'm gonna keep it as two separate parts awesome so if you're interested in that head on over to that one <laughs> 